Assalamu alaikum friends, welcome back to the channel, always with you in Sharpiri. In this video, you are going to see another side effect in the Compose API called Disposable Effect. Let's get started. So in the previous video, we saw how to use the locked effect. We talked about that this is an effect that can execute once this composable function enters the composition, as you said. And you said it will change and it will re-execute, cancel and will re-execute once this changes. Okay, and the beautiful thing about it, as, as you said, that it provides security in scope so we can run our suspendable function here. So for example, this will execute the following. It will execute hello world after one, two, boom. Come on, yeah, here we go, hello world is here. So this will execute after two seconds, as you can see, and this allows us to do several stuff. Now there is one problem, like not one problem, as you said, this delay will allow us to run security. So maybe you want to collect flows in here. So this is up to you, as you say. And one critical thing is sometimes you want to do something when this header exit the composition. So let's say, for example, we had some resources to allocate. Let's say we want to do some cleanup at the end of the day. We can't do that with the launch effect. We can do that with something else called disposable effect. All right. Yeah, disposable effect like the following. So the problem with disposable effect, it won't allow us to run two routines here. So that's maybe one problem, but it allows us to have one thing called on dispose, as you can see. So here in the on dispose, we can do whatever we want. Let's say we want to clean up something, you can do it here. We call this type of effect a non-suspend effect handler as opposed to the other one, which is the launch effect. Here, if you go to the disposable effect, you will see it simply remembering something with the key like we already do it. Like if you want to remember something and you want to change that remembering or that something based on the key, you can do it whatever you want. Like you can do it also here. That key is always provided to us. And I think, yeah, exactly. There's up to three keys you can use to remember. The same thing happened with the launched effect. If you go to the launched effect, you go here, you are going to see that like the only difference we have is this block that's suspended above. And you are going to see that this one implements something called remember observable in which we do pass our task that will be executed once we like uh, have all remember things. So if you go to the all remember thing here, if you go here, like this will be called when this object successfully remembered by the composition at the first time when this enters the composition. And as you can see, whenever we do this one, we are canceling it and then re-executing it. Same thing, it's exactly the same thing in disposable effect. Here, if you go to the disposable effect implementation, you're going to see the same thing. Here is the effect disposable stuff. We are going to do it on the on remember. And on the forgotten phase, the other one, we don't have it, is we are going to call on dispose. Are not cancelling here, but you are doing it here in internal disposable effect scope. The cancellation is happening here at the end. So that's basically it. Like always remember that you have with disposable effect the ability to clean up something whenever you want to do that thing. So remember that with the disposable effect, you get a chance to do something at the end of the execution, like when this would leave the composition, as you said earlier, when the on forgotten phase. So this when leaving the composition we're going here, you can see. Right, calls when this option object is forgotten by the composition, so it, when it leaves by the composition. And whenever this key changes, we are re-executing this same thing. Okay, so yeah, that's it for this disposable effect. I hope you got the idea on how to use it. Now there is one thing. A lot of the time you are not going to use that just for the clicklessness, for example, because here's the thing. This is clickable, like this is clickable, or sometimes you have like on click, uh, event okay whenever you have this feedback or sorry whenever you have this callback like the change you do here doesn't affect the composition so you are free you can like for example toast something normally when the user click here so this has nothing to do with the composition and it won't affect the composition so a lot of the time you are going to use that for other things other than clickable stuff for example so you won't have disposable effect into your click listeners for example so this would work fine if do that. Yeah, sorry, of course, we need that thing. Sorry. Yeah, we don't need this one. So if you run that, so we can simply toast things without the need of that disposable or launched effect when you are in clickable events, of course. So here it will just show it here and it won't affect the composition. And if this recompose, this won't happen because this one, usually the callbacks last to run non-composable code as we may need. Well, but if you are not here and you do need it in another place that you have to run something non-composable, then you use this side effect. So thank you very much for watching this video to the end. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel as always and see you in the next videos. Salam alaikum.